guys in this video we are going to be looking at one of our carbon compounds our graphene sheets or graphite as a larger compound i just want to thank Trish and kit who have been supporting me allowing me to buy models like this so i can explain things better to you they have a fantastic website where you can go and schedule all of your vision videos all of the videos i've made all of their videos loads and loads of other people's videos and you can schedule this in a timetable to fit you to make sure that it gets done in time for your exams Here we have a sheet of carbon molecules. We can see here these black bits, this is our, our carbon molecule and these bonds here are our covalent bonds. Now what I want you to notice about this is each of these carbons are only making three bonds, which means they've got an electron spare. And this is really, really important for the properties of graphite because when we have graphite, as sheets laying over each other this spare electron can bounce around in the middle and this spare electron one from each carbon which is in the middle of these sheets of graphene can allow the graphite to conduct electricity now this is really really important for loads of electrical applications now i've been throwing away these words graphite and graphene graphene is a single sheet Whereas graphite is like lots of sheets all on top of each other. So graphene as a single sheet is going to be an incredibly, incredibly thin layer of carbon which can conduct electricity because of these free electrons. Now this has some fantastic, fantastic applications for um, the electrical industry, for the nanotech industry. If we can have a, a sheet which is one atom thick which can conduct electricity and is completely flexible, this is really, really going to open up new technologies for us. Now, the properties of graphene are all to do with um, its structure as um, sheets and how these sheets interact with each other. So if these sheets lay on top of each other, they're not connected in any way at all. So what they can do is slide across each other. And because they can slide across each other, they're in layers that can slide, this means it is going to be soft. So graphite is very, very soft. This is what's in your pencils. It's not lead anymore. It's graphite in your pencils. And it's quite easy for you to write to leave a trail of graphite on your sheet. That trail of graphite that you've left on your sheet will conduct electricity. So there we go guys, those are our properties of our graphene sheets or graphite. Um, quite different to other carbon compounds but really, really useful because it has such interesting properties.